So in the past week, XRP has climbed about 18%. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about where XRP has been and where it could potentially be going in as little as the next week, as well as where it could be ranging right up until Ripple wins this case against the SEC or the next bull market takes over. And we're gonna be talking about all of those things in this video. There's also a few other things I wanted to talk about, notably was what Solana was doing, overtaking XRP. And there's some very interesting takes on both the good and bad of Solana overtaking XRP. I'm gonna tell you what I mean. And finally, we have Stuart Alderati, who is Ripple's general counsel in the case of the in the case against the SEC. He has been tweeting out some very interesting things, calling out the SEC for well, its uh, lack of clarity and its major shortcomings. And I'm gonna be talking about what the implications are for this crypto market, as well as how the things like the settlement with BlockFi and how it ties in with FTX have to do with it. Hey everyone, my name is Randy. Welcome back to the Late Night Grind. Right now on this channel, we are of course covering the Ripple versus the SEC case, but I'm also covering cryptocurrency news, investment markets, and personal finance. So if any or all these topics interest you, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join the Late Night Grind community. Also, if you do a couple things, I'd appreciate it. Smash the thumbs up button and watch this video all the way to the end. Those really are the two best things you can do to support a YouTube channel. So if you do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. Let's jump into it. So first of all, I want to talk about Stuart Alderati's tweet and what this has to do with the SEC, BlockFi, and now, of course, the bankrupt FTX exchange. It's a very interesting tweet, so I'm going to start by reading it. He says, nothing was ever registered per the BlockFi SEC deal. Now, if you remember several months ago, uh, the SEC sued BlockFi for over $100 million uh, as the settlement, and I have some more information about that uh, as well. Uh, what about the first two payments on the $100 million fine? If they were made, did the SEC confirm BlockFi's ability to pay and or the source of the funds? Interesting. Because FTX BCY shows a $250 million loan to BlockFi of what is now being known as FTX customer funds. And he follows that up with, despite BlockFi ending up intertwined with FTX and customers left holding the bag, the SEC still markets BlockFi deal as yet another win for regulation by enforcement. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. And another interesting piece about that is that is that the SEC's lead attorney in its case against Ripple left the case against Ripple to go and negotiate that settlement with the SEC and BlockFi. Of course, now we know that payments will most likely not be paid because of the bankruptcy, which is now tied to FTX. The FTX reach goes very, very far. There's some very interesting takes in response to that tweet, which I will link in the description below, one of which was from the Digital Perspectives account on Twitter, and that his take was that this is more of a shot against Gary Gensler because Gary Gensler's essentially lack of clarity in this space is potentially what actually caused the unraveling to not just FTX, but the crypto infrastructure as a whole, and failure might not be the correct word. In other words, that lack of clarity was done on purpose. And I want to get into Solana because as I just saw on Twitter earlier, it has overtaken XRP. So how did it overtake XRP? No, not in market cap, uh, but in fact on social media. It seems like every couple of months Solana seems to trend on Twitter most of the time because the blockchain actually went down or paused for several hours or even several days at a time. So a lot of the information that people are talking about seems to be a lot of both pro Solana and a lot of uh, anti-Solana sentiment. And if you're in the XRP community, you're no doubt familiar with all of that. However, I wanted to point out a couple of things that are being talked about the most, some of which is breaking news, and it does have to do with, of course, FTX. Number one, there is a total value lock scam or fraud uh, report that is essentially going around right now that is showing that over 75% of the total value locked in Solana was actually faked and created out of thin air by developers working on the Solana blockchain. And there's gonna be some interesting news that is supposed to drop on Monday or Tuesday of this week. I would keep an eye out for that, especially if you hold Solana. And not only that, it came out that FTX owns approximately 13.5% of all Solana tokens. Just another thing to keep in mind. And, and some of the big news that was just breaking, which I saw several people reporting on on Twitter, was the fact that when Solana's blockchain went down, it actually didn't go down by accident. It was actually paused or forced paused or 
brute force transactions were actually put through and some of those transactions are now being tied to FTX. Now, right now I can't confirm that, but there are several entities on Twitter that are talking about it and this could be part of the news that is, that is going to break this week. And so what are some of the pros that are being talked about on the Solana network? Well, it's NFTs for some reason are doing extremely well compared to some of the other NFTs on other blockchains. But other than that, that's all I got. There's not a lot of good news for Solana this week. In fact, there's not a lot of good news for cryptocurrency world as a whole, but I'm gonna be talking about the price action of XRP right now because there could potentially, it seems that there's some good news on the horizon for the price of XRP. And that is, we're gonna be talking about how in the past seven days, XRP has rose 18%. It has risen 18%. And it looks like over the course of the next couple of weeks, it may rise again, an additional 18%. That's a 36% increase in a couple of weeks. Now, why does it look like that? Well, the charts are suggesting it. The RSI, the weekly RSI has it pointing upward. However, there is a major resistance level at about 47 to 48 cents. That could reject that and send it back down to, well, anywhere between 30 and 32 cents seems to be that next support level. And there's a lot of reports on what the XRP tokens value is, what it could be worth. But really what this is shaping up is that it's probably going to be ranging anywhere between those numbers, uh, 33 and 50 cents, most likely for the next six months or until this ripple case with the SEC actually breaks and XRP gets its regulatory clarity. If, and if it gets to that, then all bets are off. Charts mean absolutely nothing at that point. So as of right now, it looks like on the weekly setup, there is a very strong bullish divergence on the RSI, like I said. And it looks like there's not going to be a lot of resistance all the way up to about 47 cents. So if you want to have more of a discussion about the technicals, the price indicators of XRP, you can do so on Twitter. I will put a link in the description below. You can always follow me there, have a conversation with me there about it. And if you're new to this channel, you'll see down below, I don't have comments enabled. That is because a few months ago, I looked at an analysis and it showed that 93% of my comments were spam, scam, or were spam, scams, or bots. And of course, I do not want my audience subjected to that. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end for smashing that thumbs up button. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.